Hey, what's going on, you guys? I welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy, Big Diver, back with another one take review. They got one for Eurovision. Uh, song, Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. Stars Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams. I gotta be honest. I had no intention of, like, that. had no, like, I didn't want to watch the movie, okay? I, I was just, I just was chilling, and I was just like, I don't know Will Ferrell movie on Netflix. And, like, I'm a Will Ferrell fan. I love Richard McAdams. It's just like, Will, a few Will Ferrell films. And it, was, it, it ain't been good. I, it ain't been good. And then I, I, I didn't even watch the trailer for this because I think I just seen, like, the, uh, a thumbnail or just, like, an image where, like, he was in, like, some Viking gear. And I'm just like, I, and then it says song. I'm just like, this just looks like it's going to be stupid and, and bore or, or and just, just too much slapstick comedy. And I'm just kind of like, ah, I'm tired of all of that. Then I wasn't even hearing good things. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't hearing great things about the film. Yeah, then I sat down for two hours, because the movie was two hours long, and watched it. And I got to say, I enjoyed watching this movie. <laughs> Boy, did I enjoy watching this movie. I, I Listen, granted, it took me a minute to get into it, because like I said, when it first started off, I was just kind of like, oh my God, this guy got this wig. He got this accent. I'm like, what? What is he doing in Iceland? Like, what is happening? Like, I don't even understand. I think I'm like 15 minutes in. I start like dozing off, and I actually paused the movie and closed my eyes. Just so happened, I got a text message, and I had like, I have to like text back. So it, it text message, and like, you just, I'm sending voice messages and stuff. So it woke me up. So I'm like. Just stay up. It was like it's early. I don't want to go to sleep right next. I'll be up all night. Blah blah blah. So I press play back on the movie, and it start. It kept going. And I'm just like, and I really got like into the movie because the movie's basically about getting reaching the synopsis. Two small town singers chase their pop star dreams at a global music competition where scheming rivals, high stakes, and on stage mishaps. Touch their bond. And that's exactly what it is. Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams, they 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 a singing duo and they actually the songs are actually pretty nice. I'm not mad at the songs at all. I like good songs, okay? No matter what genre they are. If it's songs good, I enjoy because I definitely was enjoying these songs. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. So I'm just watching and so many things happen, a couple of couple of cliche moments, uh uh, it was like, hey, the guy and the girl, that chemistry, they work together, like, but you know, there's something more. So, you know, stuff like that, you know. But I'm watching, I'm kind of like, the movie's okay. It's like okay to like, that's uh, straight. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad at, at all. Like, in my opinion, not bad at all. So I'm watching, and when, I, when the movie ends, I'm kind of like, there is a terrific... Not just okay, there is a terrific movie inside of this movie. It's weird. It's like you and you, t there's just a couple of things they could have done different. This movie would have been great, okay? Like, would have been excellent. Like, granted, like I said, it might have been cliche as hell, but I'm like, I enjoyed this. And it was cliche, so if you would have just changed a few, Grant, I, 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 one thing I like, I love, like I said, I love Will Ferrell. Thank you, probably should have cast somebody else. Okay, just couldn't take, you could never take him serious. Like, you, you, you just couldn't. And like, even though it's like times where you know it's supposed to be funny, but yet it's supposed to be kind of serious at the same time. So it's just, I, I, I you know, I would change that. And just a couple of little corny, just over the top stuff. I would have like took out completely. Other than that, bro, like, I like, man, this movie is, man, listen, dog, I like it. I think, I thought it was, it wasn't, it wasn't just, like, super loud. I didn't, like, bust out laughing in and, but and at times, I, but it was just kind of, I had a few chuckles. I was entertained throughout, and I'm just like, yeah. I, and I just can't, can't help but think, like, man, if this was doing this way, or, like, there is a terrific movie inside of this okay movie. Like, it's, but it's not bad. Like, it's, like I said, I was very entertained. It started off slow, it, but once it, once it, once I was in, oh, I was in it. 
like there was a couple of, like like I said, a couple of little slapstick moments where like the whole during the whole competition. I'm like, well, they could have just made that a more serious type thing. I'm like, this movie but the movie still works. Even with all like I think and it's not even because I see the potential of what the movie could have possibly been. I, I like this. I like the movie as it is, but I think, like I said, there is a better version of this movie. And it's probably out there already. You know what I'm saying? I probably just ain't never seen it. But, like, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. It, like I said, it wasn't super funny, but everything that was going, the whole, hey, small town, big dreams type deal. I mean, I'm like, yeah, that, that's me right there. From a town of like 1,500 people, all of them looking at you like, hey, go do your shit. Or, or like, yeah. You suck, but like, hey, we're gonna support you because, like, you from here. Like, ah, it's, it's just like a whole bunch. I'm just like, okay, that, like, there are some stuff that got stuff with ghosts and, and assassinations, uh, uh, stuff like that. I'm just like, that you could have did that in a way that would have been better, it, but I'm just like, ah, right, for the sake of this movie, that's what it was, you know. But yeah, I, I can't lie, I, I like the movie. I, it passes. Like, it definitely passes. It shocked the hell out of me because I thought I was going to absolutely hate it and go. I was prepared to talk shit, but the movie turned my opinion around pretty quick after that first about 15, 20 minutes. Like I said, I thought I had to wake myself back up. But uh, I'm, 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 on, I'm on a fence about this. I don't know if it's a. I want to say a C, plus, man, but I think I might go B minus. I think I'm going to go B minus on this, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. I gotta go be behind this fucking idiot. It what it is, yeah, yeah, man. I, I know there's an A plus movie inside of this one, but as it is, it's a B minus. There it is. I said, you're my, that's my review for Eurovision Song Contest: The Story of Fire Saga. You guys, let me know if you thought about the film. If you've seen it down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are all staying safe out there, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.